Hello everybody, it's Paula here from the Excel Club and welcome to another Excel video. What we're going to do in this video is look at the use of min if s and max if s. In previous videos we looked at the use of sum if s and we looked at the use of average if s. And kind of new to the if s functions is the min if s and the max is if s functions. Now what these functions will allow you to do is find the minimum value based on a criteria or a maximum value based on a criteria. In our video today, we're going to look at using these functions based on one criteria and based on two criteria. But before we get stuck into this video, I do hope that you will hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel today. And if you like this video, please do give it the thumbs up and share it across your social profiles. So let's hop into our Excel model now and take a look at the min if s and the max if s functions in action. We're going to look at min if s and max if s in this video because these are relatively new if s functions that have been added to the Excel suite. Now the min if s and max if s both can use one criteria or multiple criteria, and they're going to return the minimum or the maximum value. So we have some sample data, we have some stock items with a sales rep and we have the sales units. And let's just say using one criteria we wanted to find the minimum. Well we can do this using the min if s function. So first of all, it looks for your min range, and this is the syntax, so it's min if s, and the first thing is the min range. Now the min range is the range in which you want to return the value from, so you're looking up what's the smallest value in this list here. But then it's saying, okay, well there's going to be criteria, so what's the criteria range? So where are we going to look up the criteria? Well in this case we're looking up stock items, so we'll select all of the stock items. Then when we hit comma we can see the screen tip jumps and we have criteria. So the criteria in this case is red cups. Now we're not going to continue on, you see the way these are in square brackets, the tool tips are in square brackets. That always means that it's optional so we're not going to continue on because we're just doing one criteria. And we can see that the minimum sale of red cups is 10. So let's just do the max if s, just to show you the max if s, because it works exactly the same. So first it wants the max range, so let's take the range, this is the range in which we're going to look for the maximum value in. Then our criteria range, so where are we going to look up the criteria? Well we're going to look it up in our stock items, and our criteria is over here in cell E3. And I'm going to close the bracket and hit enter, and we can see our max value is 13. Let's increase that to 15, and you can see now it automatically updates. If we were to reduce our lowest value to 8, we can see the lowest value of fines will be 8. But what if we had two criteria? So let's have a look at the min if s function. And if we take our min if s, we've seen this earlier on. So first we have our min range, so where are we looking for our minimum value in? Then our criteria range 1, well our criteria is our stock item, so we'll select our stock items. And then it's looking for our first criteria, which is in cell E6. But then we're going to hop into by pressing comma instead of closing the function. We press comma and it brings us into criteria range 2. So this is the range in which you're going to find the second criteria. And the second criteria is sales rep. So we will select our sales rep. And then it is saying, well, where is criteria 2? Well, criteria 2 is here in cell F6. And now we can close the bracket and hit enter. So the minimum blue cups that Dylan sold was 12. And what was the maximum that Dylan sold? Well, he only sold one lot of blue cups. So his maximum would also be 12, and the formula works exactly the same. But let's just put in the formula so you can see how it does work. So we have max if s, 
and first it's looking for the max range which is our units then it's looking for criteria range one so don't forget the criteria range is the range in which you're going to look up the criteria and the criteria itself is the actual criteria you're going to look up then it moves on to the second criteria range which is the sales rep and the criteria is the sales rep name. And we're gonna close that and hit enter and we can see it's also 12. Now let's just for example, if we take this blue cups here and I'm gonna change that yellow cups to blue cups, we can now see we've, they've got two different ones to select from and it correctly goes down and finds the minimum value and the maximum value. 